Good day, guys. It's your boy Mike Lanner from Hot Lanna. Over here, and found me a parking space. And, and, and the thing about this parking space, it actually made me think about a lot of stuff, man. And it, it's, it's how we deal with life and the stuff we take for granted, the, the, the stuff that we think about that holds our life up, shall I say. When I mean hold our life up, hold our life up. What I mean by that is just simply, simply that, um, you know, people that, that can't control a certain situation, they tend to dwell a lot. And when you dwell a lot, you're holding your position in line, you're, you're at standstill, your success is at standstill. And you never know what's going to happen tomorrow. So I'm over here, I'm part. As you see, it's a motel. But when I was pulling up, I saw this. I don't know if you can really see it. I'll probably walk over there. But the motel caught on fire. There is, uh, the roof is gone. You know, somebody was in there. Not sure exactly what happened. You know, I hope everybody came out that safe. But here at this motel, man, them people, if something did happen, which I hope didn't, nothing happened, you know, it, it's like, they woke up in the midst of fire, and you can either run out the room, sorry about that, got a little car, but you can either run out the room, and save yourself, and live another day, or you can stay in that fire, and feel the pain, feel the heat, feel the hurt, you know, the smoke, you can't breathe. That is exactly what happens, you know, with us in our life these days. We we stay in that midst of fire. And, you know, instead of getting out and to renew yourself or live another life or live that life that was given to you by the man of high. I mean, to proceed and progress, I mean, you choose to stay in that fire. And imagine that hotel right there is your world. And you stayed in that fire, and as you can see, your world has collapsed. Because you chose to stay in the midst of fire. What I want to tell everybody today is, get out that midst of fire, man. You have to be happy with life you have to move on you gotta let stuff go um, I was talking to somebody yesterday about haters you you can't let somebody else judge your life or you can't let somebody else direct your life based off of emotion you know there's a lot of haters out there there's haters everywhere and the the one you know like i was telling them from what i heard yesterday and it made sense i mean it, of course it's, it's common sense you know jealousy is a form of hatred it's built off of insecurities if someone's hating on you and i know you're tired of looking at this motel i'm about to get out the truck in a second man about to take my little walk might walk down here and take a look at this motel but if someone's hating on you, let it be. Who cares? Ask yourself, you know, what are they doing for you to uplift your life? They're not doing nothing. They're hating on their own insecurity. They're insecure about something, so they're hating on you. And you can tell them, like, well, what are you doing? Or what do you do? Like, what are you doing? Like, like, there's something that you're insecure about that you're hating on me so much. Uh... Let me flip this around, man, so y'all can see my face. All right, so I had to flip this around just so I can tell y'all, you know, when I was talking about that fire in the hotel, you know, this whole thing is about getting out of yourself and becoming who you really are. You know, a lot of people stay within themselves. They stay within their mind, and you get trapped. You're in this room where you can't, not, where you can't get out, or you at least you can get out, but you feel like you can't get out. The one thing that I want to say 
is that you can't trap yourself. We live in a society right now where you're free to be whoever you want to be. And it doesn't matter what anybody says about you. Which leads me to, you know, a depression. I mean, it leads to a form of, it's one step after another. You got, you feeling some kind of way. Your emotions get to you. And the next thing you know, you feeling depressed. You know, depression is a sickness. You got to get out of that. You can't be depressed. If you are depressed right now, you need to get out of that. You need to look at yourself in the mirror. Find yourself a bathroom. Go on one of these truck stops for all you truckers, man. If you got a little mirror in there for all you female truckers, look in the mirror and say, hey, uh, I, will let, I will not let myself defeat myself. Because at the end of the day, that's all. That you're in a battle with yourself. You're not in a battle with nobody else. Ain't, don't, don't nobody care about you. You're not in a battle with nobody else. You have to learn how to not be in a battle with yourself. Because, first of all, you got to love yourself. And once you love yourself, and then it's all gravy then. And then you just take care of yourself and you just move on. But you can't let distractions come in your life that's going to make you go the wrong way. As they say, go left. You don't, wanna, you don't want distractions to come in your life that make you want to go the wrong way. Or not even make you want to go the wrong way, but distractions that will cause you to go the wrong way when you're not fully aware of your equilibrium, your, your thought process, your dynasty, your, your spirit, your world. Come on, y'all, man. I was about to get out the truck, but I just wanted to say this message, man. Get out the fire. Get out that fire, man. You, There's a lot of things that we can do here in life. If you are stuck in that fire, you need to get up out of it. A lot of things that we do, man, you got to let stuff go. That's the number one thing. You know, I don't have a, a list of number of things that you got to do, but I know one of the things is you got to let yourself go. Second thing is you got to love yourself. After you love yourself, then you can take over the whole world. Don't dwell on anything that you can't control. Don't do that. Don't do that. That's, the, that's, a, that's a big mistake. Do what you got to do to make yourself successful and happy. And then at the same time, you know, if it's those that you love, you got to love them too. You know, you love yourself, but that love that you're giving yourself, you need to pour it out to the people that care about you the most. <sighs> I'm over here, man. I swear I'm about to walk across the street and get me uh, something, uh, something. Uh, but I do need to find me a Walmart. I really do. What I, I talked about in my other video. Hey, eating out is horrible, but man. When you not around no shopping places, no Walmart or nothing like that, it is hard. And y'all y'all feel me? Other truck drivers, man, y'all know what I'm talking about. Because I'm around no man's land right now. So I got to spend that money. But it's all good, though, man. Hey, good things come to to those that wait, as they say, so, uh, hold on right quick, man, let me start, all right, y'all, man, so I'm at the truck, man, I'm in this video with this, man, just, uh, learn yourself, learn your abilities, and learn how to control them, and manifest it into something greatness, I'm about to walk, I'm just gonna take my walk, that's all I'm gonna do, man, exercise is good, make sure I get out there and exercise, do your thing, uh, Keep that blood flowing, man. I'm out.